Good evening. With federal funding for Meals on Wheels up in the air, a local business is jumping in to help seniors. News Channel 15's Holly Campbell talked to the organization's leader and is in Studio 15 with what would happen if the program's cut. Meals on Wheels provides food for nearly 500 people locally. Organizers tell me there already isn't enough money to feed all of the people who need it. And if federal funds are cut, it would mean even more hungry seniors in northeast Indiana. We have so much demand for this program and any time that there is a hint of anything happening to the, the budget that's in place for it, it's particularly concerning because we don't have enough money to begin with to feed all of the older individuals who are homebound who really do need meals. Aging and in-home services CEO Connie Benton Wolf says they get about two million dollars a year for nutrition programs with a large portion going to Meals on Wheels, but that funding could be slashed if the president's budget passes as is. If we lost the federal funds for this program, we would be in dire shape. But today, during a time of unknowns for the program, it got a major boost. Bob Rorman Subaru raised $13,000 through its Share the Love event for Meals on Wheels. When they talk about cutting funding, um, that really means that somebody's not going to get a meal. And if we can help with that, that just means there's $13,000 of food for somebody that really needs it. To have Subaru back us with their Share the Love uh, campaign has made a huge difference in terms of being able to move people into the program who would have otherwise been on a waiting list for meals. With federal money up in the air, Benton Wolf says it's good to know the community supports the program. It came at a perfect time and to get the local support really just means the world to us and to the people that we serve. Every year, a different charity is picked for the Share the Love event. Next year, money raised will be donated to Allen County SPCA. In Studio 15, Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.